here we are. I'm standing in a little park in the beautiful city of Calgary, Alberta, and uh, doing this uh, devotional here. And the scripture text for the devotion today is found in Philippians 4.8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Paul has just finished admonishing the people to rejoice and not to worry. And then he says, finally. Now he's addressing the people and what they think. What we think is what we say or what we do. We find here a progression that if followed brings the best and easiest results. First of all, true. Truth ought to be number one. Honest. Honesty is a very close second. Just. Justice will follow truth and honesty. Purity. Purity in motive and action will be the result of the first three. The purity in motive and action. Lovely. Loveliness will surround us as we think on lovely things of good report. Good reports will follow as we report good of others. We will get good reports of us if we give good reports of others. Virtue. If there is virtue in us, then we will have no problem thinking on these things. The virtue uh, is, a, is the list of the things that we have just read. Praise. If there is any praise in us, then we will have no problem thinking on these things. What are we thinking? Are we thinking positive or are we thinking negative? What we think will eventually come out, whether in word or in deed. Now this verse is a major assignment for me because it is very easy in our society to slip into a negative mode of thinking. Where are you thinking? Are you thinking honest, true, pure, just, lovely thoughts? Are you giving as much as possible good report of other people? Or are we thinking in the negative realm? Are we constantly speaking negative? Are we constantly looking for negative? Ladies and gentlemen, I used to be an extremely negative person. But I praise God for the possibility of change. Change. We can change. We don't have to stay negative. We can become positive. Let us strongly desire positive thinking, doing the true, honest, just things, thinking on those lines, and our lives will dramatically change. Heavenly Father, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for your word that encourages us to think in honesty and in truth and in purity and in loveliness, giving good report. Thank you, Lord God, for your word that encourages us in those areas. And Father God, I pray this for every person that clicks onto this website and listens to this devotion. Lord God, that each one may have a strong desire to become positive in thoughts. That there may be virtue and that there may be praise. For then these things will become much easier. And we thank you for this in the name of Jesus. Amen. And now it's better felt than told I claim Jesus first and man